Oh, that's the good stuff right there. <laughs> it's made, it's like, it's like candy. Hey, hey guys, uh, uh, I, first, let me apologize. I know everyone was waiting anxiously by their computers uh, for my Watchmen review last week. Things got a little crazy and um, uh, yeah, we didn't do one. So, but don't worry, we're gonna quickly hit the high notes of episode, what episode, five? Four. We pick up with uh, Sister Knight. She is still investigating this old man who was claiming to be her grandfather. Turns out it is. She starts tracking like that weird spaceship thing that picks up her car with him in it that leads her and Lori, Silk Spectre, to uh, this crazy company that bought Adrian Vide's company and now they're building some big, I don't know, there's some big tower and there's this weird lady who runs the company and she promises weird stuff to people to get what she wants like she promises this couple who haven't been able to conceive a child uh promises them a baby for their land and then she shows up with the baby and it's like here's your baby the grandfather is actually working with the weird lady also they this is important but sister knight goes to wade uh looking glass aka tim blake nelson's character for help uh, figuring out what some pills are that her grandfather left behind. And he turns to his wife, ex sorry, ex-wife. And that becomes important in the next episode. Side note, Adrian Veidt's still crazy. He makes, he takes like these weird, uh, he's like in a boat and he's fishing for something and it's, he finds like fetuses and then he puts them in a machine, turns it on and it grows his two like, uh, made in Butler that he's been working. Like you see like all these people, they're the same people it turns out uh, that work with him and he's pretty much just growing them in a lab. I've been talking about how I've wanted a Tim Blake Nelson episode. Guess what? We got it. And it is so good. In 1985, we have our first kind of real flashback to Watchmen, the graphic novel. There is a young boy who is a part of a religious group who is in Hoboken and no joking. They're there to kind of tell people that the end is, is near and uh, he gets brought to this, uh, one of those mirror mazes with this girl who tricks him, takes his clothes and runs away. So he's naked in this uh, house of mirrors and all of a sudden something like this loud noise starts happening, glass shatters, real crazy. He wakes up, he walks out and everyone is like we like it's just they're not they're dead but they're not like evaporated or there's nothing on top of them they're just dead it pans across to new york and then uh frank sinatra new york new york keeps playing and you see the giant squid we got a squid in here dude you saw the squid oh, man. we saw the squid guys fast forward obviously not into religion anymore he is we start to find out that he's kind of crazy but he's He's crazy because he's so worried and freaked out about like something like that happening again. So he normally wears a hat, but it's got some kind of reflective material just like his mask. And that apparently keeps this negative cosmic energy out of his head. He goes to see his wife, ask about the pills from the last episode. Turns out they are memory pills, or they're just pills in memory form, and they're his memories so he doesn't forget them. The old man. A lot happens in this episode, guys. He runs he runs a support group uh, for people who have gone through similar things as he has, and he meets this girl. They start talking. They you know they get a drink. They're talking about how crazy they both are and their worries, and then he starts to like, they say good night. And some someone comes to pick her up, and some lettuce falls out of the back of a truck. And this sounds crazy when I'm explaining it to Michael. It sounds crazy. It's the truck from the first episode when uh, one of those Seventh Cavalry dudes killed one of their officers. And so he's like, "Oh snap! Fell for the wrong girl." So he follows them, finds out where they're at, and he's like, "Gonna he's gonna take them down. He's radioed for backup." And then he sees them experimenting with some kind of teleportation device. There's it, so much going on. Wait for it, wait for it. He finds them and he's like, I'm taking you in. He's, so, he's very Southern, I'm taking you in. And they're like, whoa, dude, we set this all up. We've been trying to get you here. And he's talking to this guy and all of a sudden you're like, you, 
you don't hear it in his voice, but then then Tim Blake Nelson's like, I don't know, like I don't know what you got that mask on for. I know who you are. Twist, it's the senator, handsome oh. senator guy. He claims that he, that he and Don Johnson have been working with them to make sure they stop being racist and stop being radicals. And then he plays Tim Blake Nelson a videotape from 1985 where it's Adrian Veidt being crazy and being like, here's what's going to happen. He's talking to Robert Redford. He's like, you're going to be president one day. And this is crazy and blah, blah, blah. And here's what I've, I've dropped a squid on people. So he's talking to Sister Knight, kind of busts her over the pills. And they are about to arrest Sister Knight. And she just like, boom, downs the pills. Her grandfather's like, memory pills. And that's where we leave off. Adrian Veidt. He is ready to launch himself somewhere in a catapult. <laughs> He's all rigged up and they shoot him into the sky and he lands on the moon. The moon, dude. Wait, no. Yes. No. Yes, or some kind of planet. Then he starts taking the bodies. Apparently he's been launching his, his maid and his butler, the, the clones, into, into the sky. And they've been landing on this planet and he starts rearranging them to spell out, save me for a satellite to see. And then he's pulled back in. He's pulled back down by this like law enforcement dude who lives on this like, I don't know what it is now. Guys, this story, this show is crazy. Best line of the whole show though. Uh, very, very timely. Um, the Senator goes, he's their time with a squid or something. He's like, it's a squid pro quo. Oh my yeah. God. Yeah, this show, man, it is cool. <laughs> It is weird. This is the episode I needed. This is the episode I needed to like bring me back because the last few, I'm like, okay, I get it. Like we're building, we're I, okay, we're still building and we're still introducing weird things. But this is the episode that kind of says, hey, you know what? This is kind of what's going on. That we have, we don't know everything yet, but we know all the players and we know wh where they all stand and how they're all connected. So yeah, it was awesome. But it was weird. So keep uh, keep watching, guys, and we'll we'll see you next week. Maybe. What if I can't handle it anymore? What if this show just drives me crazy? Un esercito di prori.